Ah, mahalaga ang enerhiya para sa progresibong pamumuhay sa bansa at isa sa sinusulong ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. ay ang pag-transition sa clean energy. At para naman po pag-usapan kung paano po ma-achieve ang clean energy, makakasama po natin ang chairman ng Offshore Mining Chamber of the Philippines Incorporated na si Dr. Michael Raymond Aragon. Dr. Aragon, welcome to Rise and welcome Shine Philippines. Magandang umaga po, Rise and Shine and Prepare. Kasi kanina, I was monitoring your weather report. Meron na naman tayong super typhoon. Mm -hmm. Yan, Betty, da? Oh, oh. This yeah. weekend, yes. And all of us knows that itong mga ganitong event are related to climate change. Correct. Oh. So yung sinasabi niyong clean energy transition, mm -hmm. tamang-tama. Mm -hmm. so, Very because, timely, sir. Because the solution for climate change problem is to stop using dirty energy fuels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in line with that, po, sir, ano po ba itong offshore mining chamber of the Philippines Incorporated? At ano po ba ang layunin nito? Yan ito lang, no? Uh, para sa information ng lahat, there are many ways of mining things, no? Uh, we can never stop mining because mm -hmm. ang survival and activities ng human race, mm -hmm. very important ang mga raw materials na ginagamit natin. Mm -hmm. So, there are a clean way of mining and there are, you know, yung not so clean way of mining. No? And kami naman, uh, kami mga environmentalists kami. Eh. So, okay. so, we would like to look for an alternative na i-offer natin na makakuha tayo ng mga critical minerals without necessarily destroying our environment. No? So, yung usual na mining, pag sinasabi mo, ang connotation ng taong bayan is... Dumia, oh, oh. But our way of mining the critical minerals na kailangan natin, basically for clean energy transition para labanan mm -hmm. natin yung climate change, mm -hmm. nasa ilalim ng uh, oceans natin, mm -hmm. deep sea. Right. No? Mm -hmm. So we don't really disturb that much uh, uh, na mga bagay-bagay that would cause environmental destruction. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. Parang to put it in a nutshell, parang gumagamit lang kami ng vacuum cleaner para isaypo namin yung mga mga oh, minerals. minerals, critical minerals na kailangan natin. Ang mga nakukuha natin sa lupa na mga critical minerals, no? Nakukuha rin natin sa dagat. Mm -hmm. Ang problema lang natin at this point in time, the Philippines that does, does not possess the technology mm -hmm. okay. and of course the money uh -huh. of doing these things, no? Katulad niyan. Earlier I told you, yung isang barko namin diyan to do the, 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 the mining, the siphoning, mm. at least would cost at least 1 billion pesos. Sa barko pa lang yan. Okay. So, the offshore mining uh, chamber of the Philippines, OMCPI, no? uh, nag, nag, on the private side, no? nagkaroon kami ng collaboration mm -hmm. with foreign governments. No? Uh, I'll mention the Japanese government. Mm -hmm. We're talking to our private counterparts sa Japan. Ha? to help the Philippines do this. No? Because ang gusto namin is really to develop a new kind of economy. Ang tawag namin dyan, the Philippine blue economy. Mm. Okay. Sa ocean natin na Yes, makuha. blue. Yes. Oh. So, ang sinasabi namin, before our activity, uh, except malampaya, ah, kasi mm. blue, sa, mm. sa ocean sila. Yes. Na. Ang pag sinabi mong blue economy sa Pilipinas, fishing lang. Okay. Diba? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what we're trying to do is we would like to uh, utilize the yung yaman ng bayan sa ilalim ng, 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 ng oceans natin to help the economic recovery of the Philippines. No? Uh, napakayaman ng bansa natin. Ang utang natin na 13.8 trillion, no? uh, nasa, ang solusyon yan kung ayusin natin which I think the president is trying to do right now, mm -hmm. nasa ilalim ng oceans natin. Mm -hmm. Hindi lang natin makuha kasi we don't have the technology mm -hmm. and we do not have the money to Although do it's it. good that we're starting now, We're sir, starting no? it right now. Okay. Actually, maraming mga nabanggit na mga important points, ano, mm -hmm. si, si uh, Dr. Aragon. Sabi niya, hindi naman talaga pwedeng tanggalin ng mining kasi mm -hmm. damir yung mga cellphone natin. Correct. Wala tayong magagamit ng mga new technology without, of course, mining. Ang spoon and fork mo na ginagamit ko ma. Spoon and fork. Even product of mining. Oh, correct. All these so, things. we just need to find the, sabi mo nga, Dr. Aragon, the best um, way. The clean way. The clean way. The best and clean way to really get to this get all the things, the, the minerals that we need. Para tuloy ang buhay. 
Okay. Um, how can we further, um, kumbaga, siguro get the support of different sectors, kaya, um, mm -hmm. Dr. Aragon, like government, even private sector, to support uh, this uh, best way and clean way of mining? Sir? Actually, PTB4 is now doing that. The mere fact that you have guested us here and tinasalita mo kami, and we would like to inform our people na meron palang ibang paraan. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many ways of skinning a cat, so to speak, di ba? Na pwede natin kunin itong mga critical minerals na kailangan natin. Not only to transition from clean energy source, kasi right now, ang carbon mix natin sa energy source ng bansa, crudo and so many things. So with this kind of things, we can probably provide, no? Yung mga raw materials na mga electric vehicles natin, mm. yung mga tinatag natin na mga solar panels, mm. yung mga windmills, no? nasa, nasa uh, offshore mining mm. ito. Ang tawag natin dyan is rare earth elements, mm. no? REE. No? Okay. Oh. Well, sinabi nyo nga po na this is a better way to mine dahil mas better to sa ating kalikasan. Pero paano po yung protection ng uh, aquatic resources natin when, when this happens there? Mm. Alam mo, Protektado po ba ang ating yes. mga isda? Uh, lahat ng ginagawa natin, even pag kumain tayo ng hamburger, magluto tayo sa kitchen, may tinatawag tayo na footprint, carbon mm, footprint. Yeah. Yes. Okay? So what we do sa offshore mining is, we would like to minimize this risk na pwede natin, na i-disturb natin. Like for example, yung kinukuha namin ng mga, mga bagay na hindi naman kasama sa gusto namin, binabalik po namin yan. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, we have pollution devices, no? kaya mahal yung mga barko natin. We have, we, even the, the energy source na ginagamit namin sa pagmay, no? uh, clean. No? Mm -hmm. Example, yung mga RVs, uh, yung mga submarines, etc. Mm -hmm. May mga submarines tayo rin, electric motor powered na siya, electric na siya. So, so these are the things na sinasabi nga ni Presidente when he was talking sa ASEAN na... Uh, Actually, recently, doon sa Pagudpud, when, his, when he uh, inaugurated the 160 windmill, or yes. sinabi niya Last doon week, yes. na there's a new uh, standard right now, international standard, you're doing business, especially sa mining. Mm -hmm. yung mga, sinabi ni Presidente na yung mga buyers ng mga minerals nito, bago sila bumili sa isang mining company, tinatanong nila, saan, ano ang ginagamit mong energy source to mine this. Uh -huh. This is the president talking yeah, yeah, yeah. the other day. Ang sinabi ni, sinasabi ni, ni Presidente na pag alam ng buyer ng minerals, no, uh, na ang ginamit mo is the clean and uh, the, the, the dirty source mm -hmm. of energy. Yung, ah, ayawan. Yung, ayawan. Hindi nila bibigyan. Uh -huh. so, kasi kasama rin to sa eight-point agenda ng ating mm -hmm. Because no? oh. climate change issue is really not only Philippine issue. Yes. This is an issue of humanity because if we cannot address the problem of climate change, human species extinction yes. ang next natin okay. na mangyayari. All right, and Dr. Aragon, you've mentioned na ito nga ay naginagawa na rin natin dito sa Pilipinas with the help and support of international partners. Pero sa buong mix natin ng mining sa Pilipinas, how much of the percentage bang galing sa offshore? And also, I want to know, aling-aling mga parte ng karagatan ang pwede tayo dito sa offshore mining? Yeah. Uh, to be very honest with you, ang mix ng, ng clean source of mining, maliit lang. Kasi kami, we started in 2019 lang sa Pilipinas. Actually, the chamber is the pioneering, members ng chamber, the pioneering sa tinatawag natin na offshore mining. 2019 lang kami. Ngayon, pagdating sa mga specific areas, we already identified that. No? As a matter of fact, we already, our members was already, uh, were awarded with the, the franchises, yung tinatawag natin na MPSA, etc., by DNR, okay. na exclusive rights to mine this area, mm -hmm. it's already there. Ang problema lang, napaka-expensive mm -hmm. nga. Uh, and ang sa offshore mining, may limit tayo. There are seasons of the year na hindi tayo pwede mm -hmm. uh, mag-operate, mag, mag especially may mga super typhoons, etc., uh -huh. etc. Et uh, ito lang yung mga ano. But, you know, at least we have started this thing with the right. Philippines in partnership with our... Japanese uh, uh, partners and the government of Japan, I can say this right now, are very much willing to buy our uh, precious uh, critical minerals. No? As a matter of fact, uh, kaya nga sila interesado to partner with us here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. 
So we have we have the te we now have the technology through our foreign partners, and we even have buyers for these uh, critical minerals. Na very rich sa ilalim. Napakaganda na meron tayong ganitong technology. No? Very progressive. And, I'm and sure we, 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 we definitely would like to salute our president yeah. because si Presidente, ang initiative niya is climate change talaga. Totoo. Oh, malapit yeah. sa puso oh. niya talaga. Yeah. Yung uh, Very baga, consistent. to lessen our carbon footprint. Correct. Kasi nga naman, yung mga vulnerable country ang naapektuhan. Oh, eh. Sabi nga ni Sir kanina, medyo maliit lang yung contribution carbon. natin oh. sa carbon footprint. Less than 1% ang carbon footprint ng Pilipinas. Pero tayo Pilipina. ang pinakakawalan. We are the top most vulnerable mm -hmm. country in mm -hmm. the world. Number yes. four, according to President right. uh, yes. Bongbong, when uh -huh. he spoke to you, and number mm -hmm. four tayo. So, yeah. We are very excited to see how this thing will progress. Mm -hmm. no? And how it will super find out. typhoon kanina, sabi ko, ito na naman siya. Oh, wow. yung, 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 this is part of climate change. Correct, okay. right, sir. Well, well, thank you so much, sir, sa pagsama po sa amin ngayong umaga. Yes. Maraming salamat. salamat and the pleasure well, is ours. Yes, thank you so much, Thank sir. you, sir. Okay. Dr. Aragon, maraming salamat po.